Another day, another story. Dinosaurs. In terms of mass, Earth's largest mammal is the blue whale, Balanoptera musculus. Weighing approximately 136 metric tons, 150 tons, and growing to a length of more than 30 meters, 98 feet, it is also the largest animal that ever lived. But growing conditions are different in the ocean. Welcome to Tarbo Eminent Channel. What about the largest land animal? Today the elephant holds the title, but if we reach back into history, we can find even larger creatures. Many of the dinosaurs of the Mesozoic era, about 252 million to 66 million years ago, were longer and more massive than modern elephants, hippopotamuses, and rhinoceroses. The largest dinosaurs of the era were the sauropods, a collection of four-legged herbivorous species that possessed long necks and tails. A sauropod subgroup called the Titanosauria contained the largest sauropods. Titanosaurs lived at the end of Earth's Cretaceous period, 145 million to 66 million years ago, and titanosaur fossils have been found on every continent. Sadly, these lumbering leviathans died out at the end of the Cretaceous. The following list describes eight titanosaurs of varying sizes. Dreadnoughtus. One of the largest titanosaurs, possibly the largest according to some sources, was Dreadnoughtus. It had a total length of roughly 26 meters, about 85 feet, and an estimated mass of 59 metric tons, about 65 tons. Dreadnoughtus is known from rock deposits of southern Patagonia, Argentina, that date to about 77 million years ago. There is only one known species, D. shrani. Dreadnoughtus is a genus of gigantic titanosaurian sauropod dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 77 million years ago. The name Dreadnoughtus is derived from the Old English word dreadnought, meaning fear nothing, emphasizing its enormous size and likely lack of natural predators. The most well-known species within the Dreadnoughtus genus is Dreadnoughtus shrani. It was discovered in southern Patagonia, Argentina, by a team of paleontologists led by Dr. Kenneth Lacavara. The fossils, which include a significant portion of the dinosaur's skeleton, were found in rocks of the Ferro Fortezela Formation. Some key features and facts about Dreadnoughtus include Size, Dreadnoughtus is considered one of the largest dinosaurs ever discovered. Estimates suggest that it could reach lengths of up to 85 feet, 26 meters, or more. Weight, the estimated weight of Dreadnoughtus is staggering, with some calculations suggesting it could have weighed around 65 tons. This would make it one of the heaviest land animals ever known. Skeletal completeness, the fossil discovery of Dreadnoughtus is significant because it includes a substantial portion of the dinosaur's skeleton. This includes vertebrae, limb bones, pelvic bones, and some ribs. Herbivorous diet, like other sauropods, Dreadnoughtus was likely a herbivore, using its long neck to reach vegetation high above the ground. Discovery, the fossils of Dreadnoughtus were first reported in a scientific paper published in 2014. The discovery was notable not only for the size of the dinosaur but also for the completeness of the fossil specimen. It's important to note that the study of dinosaurs, including Dreadnoughtus, is an ongoing field, and new discoveries may provide additional insights into the lives of these prehistoric giants. Patagotitan Merum, the Titanosaur. Atagotitan Merum may have been the world's largest terrestrial animal of all time, based on size estimates made after considering a haul of fossilized bones attributed to the species. The collection included a femur, thigh bone, that measured 2.4 meters, 8 feet, from end to end. Because of its huge size, Patago Titan was simply known as the Titanosaur between its initial discovery in 2014 and its formal naming in August 2017. It is thought to have weighed approximately 70 metric tons, about 77 tons, and measured 37.2 meters, 122 feet, long, but some researchers believe that these are overestimates. The species lived 100 million to 95 million years ago. Argentinoceros. Argentinoceros has been known to science since 1993. 
Evidence of it was originally discovered in 1987, when a fossil the size of a fully grown human being was unearthed on a ranch in Argentina. The rancher thought the fossil specimen was a large chunk of petrified wood, and it wasn't until 1993 that it was reclassified as a single vertebra belonging to a new species of sauropod. Although no complete skeletons of Argentinoceros have been found, estimates of the dinosaur's length, based on projections of the size of the rest of the body using existing fossils, range from 37 to 40 meters, about 121 to 131 feet, and it was thought to have weighed 90 to 100 metric tons, 99 to 110 tons. By these measures, Argentinoceros was the largest dinosaur, as well as the largest land animal, ever known. Belonging to the Titanosaur group, Argentinoceros is considered one of the largest dinosaurs ever discovered. It lived around 94 to 97 million years ago in what is now Argentina. Estimates suggest that it could reach lengths of up to 100 feet, 30 meters, or more. Saltosaurus Saltosaurus is a titanosaur named for the city of Salta in northern Argentina, where it was discovered. The species was first described in 1980, and it is considered small compared with other titanosaur species, measuring only 12.2 to 12.8 meters, about 40 to 42 feet, long and weighing slightly under 7 metric tons, about 7.7 tons. While several other titanosaurs relied on their sheer size to dissuade predators from attacking them, an analysis of a collection of incomplete fossil skeletons of Saltosaurus suggests that the species employed a different defensive strategy. The titanosaur's body was covered with osteoderms, or bony armored plates, which made it more difficult for the teeth of a predator to penetrate its flesh. Raptosaurus a juvenile Raptosaurus krause was discovered by researchers excavating a hillside in northern Madagascar in 1998. The dig revealed one of the most complete titanosaur skeletons discovered thus far. In addition, a skull of a juvenile and a skull of an adult were found at the site. Although the juvenile skeleton was only 8 meters, about 26 feet, in length and an adult skeleton was not present, paleontologists estimated that fully grown members of this species could have been as large as 15 meters, about 49 feet, long. The bones of Raptosaurus have been dated to roughly 70 million years ago, a mere 4 million years before one of the greatest mass extinctions in Earth's history, the KT extinction. Raptosaurus is a genus of Titanosaurian sauropod dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 70 to 66 million years ago. The fossils of Raptosaurus were discovered in Madagascar. The name Raptosaurus is derived from the Malagasy word raptu, meaning giant, combined with the Greek word soros, meaning lizard. Here are some key features and facts about Raptosaurus. Size, Raptosaurus was a relatively large dinosaur, though not as massive as some other titanosaurs. Estimates suggest it reached lengths of around 40 to 50 feet, 12 to 15 meters. Discovery, fossils of Raptosaurus were first discovered in the Mavarano Formation of northwestern Madagascar. The discovery was part of a joint expedition led by researchers from Stony Brook University and the University of Antananarivo. Titanosaur, Raptosaurus belongs to the Titanosauria, a diverse group of sauropod dinosaurs known for their large size and widespread distribution during the late Cretaceous period. Diet, like other sauropods, Raptosaurus was a herbivore, using its long neck to reach vegetation high above the ground. Its teeth were adapted for processing plant material. Social behavior, one interesting aspect of the Raptosaurus discovery was the finding of juvenile specimens in association with adult individuals. This suggests that these dinosaurs may have exhibited some form of social behavior or parental care, as the presence of juvenile fossils near adults implies that they lived together at least for some period. Raptosaurus provides valuable insights into the dinosaur fauna of Madagascar during the late Cretaceous. The island's isolation allowed for the evolution of unique species, and the discovery of Raptosaurus contributes to our understanding of sauropod diversity and behavior in this region during prehistoric times. Ostropocidon magnificus 
In 1953 a partial vertebral column and a rib were excavated from the Presidente Prudenci Formation in suburban Sao Paulo. These fossils sat in a museum for more than 60 years before Brazilian researchers had the staff and resources to be able to study them and declare them as belonging to a new titanosaur species, the largest of Brazil's nine known titanosaur species, in 2016. The sizes of these fossils suggest that a fully grown Ostropocidon magnificus measured 25 meters, 82 feet, long. The age of the sandstone and mudstone layers containing the fossils suggest that Ostropocidon magnificus lived between 84 million and 66 million years ago. Paralititan Paralititan stromeri was first described in 2001 after earlier excavations at a site roughly 300 kilometers, about 186 miles, southwest of Cairo, Egypt, had revealed a massive 1.69 meter, 5.5 foot, long femur, thigh bone, and a collection of fragmented shoulder blades, front leg bones, teeth, and vertebrae. The discovery of such a large femur allowed many paleontologists to assert that Paralititan rivaled Argentinoceros in size. Estimates of the titanosaur's length and weight vary, length estimates range from 25 to 30.5 meters, 82 to 100 feet, and weight estimates range from 60 to 75 metric tons, about 66 to 83 tons. Paralititan plied the mangrove swamps of the middle of the Cretaceous period some 94 million years ago. Paralititan was a genus of titanosaurian sauropod dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 94 to 93 million years ago. Its name, Paralititan, translates to tidal giant, reflecting the fact that its fossils were found in coastal deposits in what is now Egypt. The specific species is Paralititan stromeri. Here are some key features and facts about Paralititan. Size Paralititan was a massive dinosaur, with estimates suggesting it could reach lengths of around 85 feet, 26 meters, or more. Its size and weight are comparable to other giant sauropods of the late Cretaceous. Discovery The fossils of Paralititan were discovered in the Baharia Formation in the Egyptian Sahara by an expedition led by American paleontologist Joshua Smith and his team. The discovery site near the Baharia Oasis, is known for its rich fossil deposits from the late Cretaceous period. Habitat, the presence of Paralititan in coastal deposits, suggests that it lived in a habitat influenced by marine conditions. The area would have been characterized by a combination of terrestrial and coastal environments. Titanosaur, Paralititan belongs to the group of sauropod dinosaurs known as Titanosaurs, which were characterized by their long necks long tails, and massive size. Titanosaurs were diverse and widespread during the late Cretaceous. Herbivorous diet, like other sauropods, Paralititan was likely a herbivore, feeding on vegetation with its long neck and processing it in its large body. The discovery of Paralititan contributes to our understanding of sauropod diversity and distribution during the late Cretaceous. As with many dinosaur species, Ongoing research and new discoveries may provide further insights into the biology and ecology of Paralititan and its prehistoric environment. Shingopana somwensis The Tanzanian titanosaur, Shingopana somwensis, was first described in August 2017. The collection of fossils, made up of vertebrae, ribs, bone from one of its forelegs, and a fragmented lower jaw and pubis bone, was found in 2002 in the Golula Formation of Africa's Great Rift Valley, which is located in southwestern Tanzania. The rocks within which the fossils were found dated to 100 million to 70 million years ago. Shingopana is the Swahili word for wide neck, and it was the titanosaur's inflated cervical vertebrae that inspired the name of the species. Only 8 meters, about 26 feet, long and weighing an estimated 5 metric tons, about 5.5 tons, S. Somwensis was among the smallest of the titanosaurs. Thanks for watching request you to subscribe the channel.